Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Hello YouTube! Summer is right around the corner, or for some states that actually have got the memo, it's supposed to be now, but you know, Texas. Anyway, uh, dehydration is a thing that we all need to start thinking about and figuring out ways to ensure that we don't end up with it. Um, it actually only takes a loss of 1-2% to of your body weight to cause you to be dehydrated, and a lot of times people can be dehydrated without realizing it. In fact, once you're thirsty, you've already hit your dehydration point. Um, if you plan on working outside, outside this summer, or if you plan on exercising a lot, then you definitely need to make sure that you keep hydrated. Only water can truly rehydrate you, so things like coffee, tea, soda, um, even Gatorade really won't be a good alternative to uh, water. Coffee, tea, soda, and alcohol will all actually dehydrate you and make you even worse. So, you know, avoid them. Um, the 8x8 eight eight rule does not apply to everyone. If you happen to be a really small or really skinny person, you may actually accidentally overhydrate or get water intoxication. I'll post a link to a Wikipedia article in the description below so you can read up more on it. If you are of uh, the larger persuasion, if you're huskier or particularly muscly, you may need to drink more than just 8 glasses of 8 ounce, 8 glasses of 8 ounces of water. Whatever. Um, anyway, so look up into that, make sure you're getting enough water because you may not be getting enough or you may be getting too much. Um, dehydration reduces blood volume which uh, makes it thicker and more, makes the blood more thicker and concentrated and this stresses out the heart. Um, this decreases the ability to transport oxygen and nutrients to muscles and other living cells so this is why you suddenly get blackout dizzy whenever you get dehydrated. The blood's having trouble getting to your brain. Um, some things that you can look for is uh, the color of your urine. I know it sounds gross, but the lighter it is, the healthier you are. Um, but if it's 100% clear, especially if you're not a particularly active person, this could be a sign of water intoxication, so you need to make sure that you've, you've got your uh, amounts monitored. Um, if your urine is particularly dark, then you are probably rather dehydrated, so I suggest grabbing yourself a glass of water. Um, some other symptoms of dehydration are thirst, irritability, sudden headaches, weakness, dizziness, cramps, nausea, decreased performance, dark urine, dry mouth or tongue, lack of sweat, blood pressure drop, etc. And if you get extremely dehydrated, you may accidentally get yourself uh, hospitalized, like I did once. Um, the liquids will be replenished intravenously, and dude, it's not fun at all. It's cold, it's in your arm, people are judging you, just don't go there. Anyway, YouTube, I hope you all have a well-hydrated and super awesome summer, and I will see you all tomorrow.